What's up everybody, said Kebani here. Now in this video, I want to show you how to create this flyer mock-up. Let's start with it. I'm so excited to do that. Now we are going to create this particular size. Now you can use any size you want. Let me close it. Let me show you how to create it. Control N and then you can click on 1920 by 1080 72 or any size that you want. If, if it's for social media, you might as well use 2000 and 2072. But I want to use this because I want to use it as a thumbnail for YouTube. Now with that said, let's click on create and then I'll go to views and I'll go to new guards layout and then I'll go to new guard uh, layout, right? And I set it here to, let's say eight and set this side to eight as well. That's the columns and then the rules. Click on OK. And now you also want to bring in the file that, um, you know, we want to work on i'm going to leave everything in the description for you because i want to do that for you make your work quite simple All right so now this is it and this is what we are going to be using to actually create the original one and we are also going to bring in a background doesn't matter you can choose not to use a background doesn't really matter i'm going to pull this all the way into photoshop and then i'm going to resize it to fill the entire canvas okay enter i'll drag it down and then i'll go to filter and i'll go to blur then i'll go to gaussian blur and then i'll set it to maybe around eight point something or even more all right so we are set with it we'll come and work more on it i'll call it bg i'll hide it for now now with this one you also want to go to new and then go to point and then choose a4 sheet okay now the size for the a4 sheet is 210 by 297 millimeters set this side 72 as well rgb 8 bit everything like this click on create and then i would like to go to views and go to new guards layout and then i'll set it to two set this side also to two and i'll click on ok and then come and pick my rectangular tool and create a rectangle there like that i want to make sure it hits all corners of it and then i'll set the stroke of make sure the fill is color black because i want to really see it well i click on my move tool then i'll drag it and move it all the way into the original canvas i want to work on and it's beneath it so you can see it. i'll drag it on top and then ctrl t let's see it well okay so this is it i'd like to make it a little bit smaller enter and then i'll right click it and i'll convert it to smart object now i'll click i'll type in click here to edit and then i'll duplicate it like um let's say four times one two three four right now this particular one i'll right click it I'll, I'll send it to color red or orange the rest i'm going to put it in a group and then i'll open the first one okay so now the first one let's hide let's hide this top most one let's click on all of them hide all of them then let's zoom in when it comes to designing stuff like this you really want to zoom in and get it accurately now ctrl h to also hide the lines or the grids and then this one i'll bring it in i'll lower the opacity all the way to maybe around um, 30 something percent okay now ctrl t and then i'll set it to distort and then drag this to that side and then drag this to that side then scroll down and then drag this to that side so you can see we are using that as a reference reference is really important it makes your work quite easy and you're not really worried as to whether it is realistic or not because you know you use the reference okay so we set the corners right now let's right click it and then let's set the size as well we are going to set the size by using warp and then we'll drag in out a little bit okay 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 we're going to drag this side in a little bit it's great enter it's great and i'll hide it uh, i'll hide it now this one i'm going to call it top the top most one i'll call it top and then this one i'll call it down so now let's bring down as well and then let's reduce down all the way to on the b40 something guys make sure you hide the top hide the top okay now the down ctrl t right click it and then distort and then let's drag it here 
okay, let's calm down calm down okay, let's drag this side here let's drag this side there okay and let's drag this side there let's see something like this okay now let's zoom in not too much though right click it and then wow because you want to work on the sides of it i feel like the size is okay yeah i feel like the size is okay yeah size is okay no it's not bad okay let's right click let's click on wap let's push this side in and then uh, and then i think that is it i believe that is it okay now select both of them bring this one and then set all of them to 100 percent now also you want to hide it and then let's see we need to separate the first one from the, the other one and we can do that by using shadows but to do that guys you have to bring in a life flyer so i'm going to click on the topmost one click here and then i'll drag this all the way in there and i'll release it see this is an a4 size flyer so it fits in there perfectly and then i'll control c to control s sorry to save it it's going to reflect here if you like on a click on it it's going to reflect there you can see it's beautiful so what we want to do is we want to separate both of them and we can do that by clicking on the topmost one duplicate it the down one click on shadow name it shadow and then double click it and then let's go to that one and click on ok and then you also want to go to filter let's go to blur let's go to Gaussian blur and then let's set it to 8 and then let's click on ok all right so Control T and then let's distort let's bring it in there like that and then let's bring it this side like that let's push the side in there and then enter uh, it's really going to disturb right <laughs> need to pull this side out a little bit let's, let's click on control Z control Z <sighs> okay so control T and then let's click on this thought we need to drag this side out a little bit more else we'll not be able to see it zoom in we want it to be at the tip we want to be at the tip of it yes all right now we also want to hide that one great and then the shadow let's give the shadow a mask and then let's pick color black here let's click on our brush um, opacity 100 flow 100 we are choosing a soft round brush and then guys click on the mask and set your caps lock off and then let's mask this side okay let's mask that side let's also mask this side great let's mask this side now it looks quite realistic also we want to reduce the um, opacity down a little bit to 90 something or oh, I feel like 60 is good 60 is good and then the top one duplicate it and then right click it and then create clipping mask now the top one go to the blending mode and set it to screen hold alt and click on your mask okay now uh, if shadow is casting on this side definitely the light is going to come from this angle so we want to give this side a little bit lightening and so let's set this side to white and then oh, the flow let's set the flow to around 30 something percent or 40 and then click on that side you also want to and then maybe click on that side all right something like that all right so I feel like something like this is realistic 
and then the ones underneath it that down to you want to duplicate it by clicking on ctrl j right click it and then create clip and mask and then um you want to also set the blending modes to screen and then hold alt and click on the mask and then click on the mask here pick your brush set here to color white and then you upload to you no know, 40 or 39 or whatever and um i feel like the shadow is still casted on this side right but then we can maybe give it a few lights at the edge at the edge you know at the edge of it no that side is not realistic yeah that side that side so it looks realistic now and um and that is it guys that is it but if you still want to make it more real you can risk now you see this is the flyer all right this is the flyer you can control t8 okay and then resize it the way you want hold out and then resize it it's totally your flyer you can do whatever you want to do with it and you can also get a new layer and then drag it underneath it and then open the flyer and drag it inside there a little bit and then click on your brush to set this side to color black if i let's pick the black in there okay and then um what else can we do let's set the flow all the way to 100 and then make sure the caps lock is also set to off and then let's increase the size of the brush and hit here like that ctrl t hold shift and then just create something like that all right and ctrl t and then you can maybe and you guys do a good job and then click on the mask and then decrease the size of the let's click on the brush here click there decrease the size of the brush um all right so so now that is it for you and you can bring the background in there and it still works the background you can open it and then just go and then create a stack uh you know dark background solid color and then give it a mask now let's go and pick this and then let's go and set it to gradient right and then let's come and pick um what are we going to pick let's pick this let's set this side to black and then let's totally just drag it from here all the way to there like that yeah and then drag this side down like that and let's drag this side up to let's see now if you are if you are wondering <laughs> If you're wondering what kind of photoshop is this guys it's photoshop beta photoshop 2023 and uh, it's awesome guys it's awesome that's awesome i'm gonna drag it outside but don't worry you, you guys know how to do it but you know how to do it the normal i mean let me click on uh click on okay you know how to do it on the normal um you know photoshop so i'm not really scared i'll set it to yeah i'll set it to let's see darken let's see no linear yeah i set it to linear burn and it works perfectly so guys you can use this or you can even use the white background it really works totally works okay it is it, it's just your choice guys if you love this video hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel as well I love you guys see you in the next episode peace